first off, I want to thank God for blessing me with this win, this opportunity, and, uh, you know, Golden Boy for putting the fight together, HBO. Um, and uh, these are for you, Richard, wherever you win. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, look at that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm going to have a very prominent yeah. place in my office right next to uh, an old election, Bernard Hopkins, who gave That's me right. this outfit following uh, his win against Kelly Pavlik. So thank you very much. It really means a lot to me. Yeah, you're welcome. Yeah, thank you. Um, you know, I went out there and just went to work. Went to work, uh, you know, did my thing. Berto's a tough guy. He's fast, hit hard. Um, but, hey, came out with victory. Great, great win tonight. Um, you know, you talked a lot about in the past how you always felt like you were a lot better than people thought you were and you never got the proper respect. Can you talk about now that, you know, you, you've had this kind of victory and now you're going to get the respect you've always deserved? Oh, yeah. Well, it's like Richard said. You didn't put him in the top ten pound for pound now. It's, you just hate him. <laughs> you, just hate, you just hate him on me. So, um, you know, hey, I go out there and fight hard, do what I got to do. Um, you know, I had to fight, you know, in the bag. Hey, 12th round, I'm going to go out there and fight all the way to the last bell. So uh, you know, that's what I do. Richard said there will be no one who's stopping you tonight. You showed it. You showed your chin. Tell me about being in there. Um, you know, he was quick, hit hard. Um, but, you know, he never hurt me. He never hurt me at all. And, uh, you know, just went out there and went to work. Robert, did you feel that you had him early in the first two rounds, you know, scoring those two knockdowns? Well, um, you know, I heard him. I put him down, went out there. Uh, Went to the body a lot, wanted to slow him down, and uh, I did say I wanted to beat him for 12 rounds, and that's what I did. Robert, were you uh, were you surprised taking him down so early in the knockdowns? Um, no, I knew uh, I knew Berto, uh, you know, he has a soft chin. Um, I knew uh, I could put him down, um, you know, but he, he was determined to win. You know, he's, he wants to get he wanted to get back where he was at, where he left off after uh, you know before the um, the Victor Ortiz fight. So I knew he was coming game. He wanted to win. He wanted to do his thing. He wanted to show and, and uh, you know, come and, uh, you know, put out a great fight. So I know he was game, and, and you had to be ready for him, especially, uh, you know, you see the fights with him and Victor Ortiz. Victor put him down, and he came right back and put Victor back down. So, uh, you know, you got to be cautious with a guy like, uh, like Roberto. Robert, you, uh, you've had an incredible performance tonight. You fought with so much intensity and passion, more than I've seen in quite some time. Uh, a lot of fighters, a lot of people within boxing believed you were a very good fighter. It was just that you were a champion at featherweight and at lightweight, and they questioned whether you could do the same success at welterweight. You walked through one of the hardest punching welterweights in the division. What do you think this win proves to legitimize yourself as a welterweight contender, as one of the top welterweights? Um, well, you know, Berto did hit hard, but he didn't hit nowhere as hard as A.D. did. A.D. was a hard puncher. Wherever he hit me, it hurt. So, um, you know, I was walking through his shots. You know, I, you know, a lot of people don't know. I started my pro career at 122 pounds. Now I'm at 47. So, uh, you know, it just shows I could take a shot. And, uh, you know, I'm determined to come out and fight the best fighters. You know, guys, you know, that's why I want to fight Floyd Mayweather. Um, you know, people said that uh, I, that I uh, you know, that I'm just trying to cash out and I'm trying to do, uh, you know, just come in and, and move and look for the big names to get big pays. But I want to fight the best. I want to be the best. I don't just want to get paid. Because I know if I fight the best and I'm the best, I'll get paid no matter what. So I'm, I'm here to fight. As you guys see tonight, you know, I ain't going to run from a guy just because he got power. I'm going to let him know, too. I mean, sh there was probably about 10, 15 more seconds. I think Berto would have been out that 12 round. Now, Andre Berto is a guy that uh, early in his career got criticized for fighting. Kind of, He was handed a WBC title the way he, he, he fought on HBO all the time against you know, not so big names. You fought a lot of less glamorous names, but tough guys over the course of your career. I mean, Orlando Salido, uh, Aideen, uh, Gamaliel Diaz just picked up a title recently. Do you think that those fights, even though they may have prolonged you getting to this level, as far as not being big names, but tough guys, do you think that'll help you as far as your longevity at staying at the top? Oh yeah, it's fighting the right fights to get you to this level. Um, you know, you can move through the ranks fast and get up here, but you know, easy come, easy go. Uh, you know, I had to fight the guys that nobody wanted to fight because nobody wanted to fight me, so I had to take the fights that nobody wanted to fight. So, uh, you know, that's the kind of thing I do, you know, like Aideen. I mean, I, I think right now Aideen's having trouble getting fights, right? So, you know, I'm going to take the toughest guys on, 
whether, uh, you know, they're hard punchers or not, you know, I'm going to come and do my thing, and, uh, you know, like I always say, me and my team always say, we're going to keep on trucking until it falls into motion, and it's falling into motion. Well, I mean, looking back, are you uh, glad that you, I mean, there were setbacks at the time, the Salido and the Diaz fights, but looking back, do you think they, they've helped you? Oh, yeah, I, I, you know, I couldn't be happier with my career. Um, you know, it, it, having the right fights, that's why, uh, you know, I, I do what I do. I come out and fight. You know, I'm able to adjust. I'm able to, uh, you know, rough it out, tough it out, because I, I've been in the right fights to be at this level. And Don't uh, forget, man, Salido was on, on drugs. He's a cheat. So I won't even talk about that guy, man. He's a cheat. Who, who was on drugs, sir? Salido. He got oh, tested oh, for drugs. Salido? for for. He got tested for steroids. So that's a cheat right there, bro. Robert, I don't even want to hear about that guy. Early on, you were effective, you know, fighting at a distance, you know, when you scored two knockdowns, and then, you know, you got inside. You know, was it part of the plan to, you know, to smother him or to just to bring a different game at him? Um, yeah, you know, I, you know, my father wanted me to box him more, work my jab behind my jab, but, um, you know, I wanted to punish him. I wanted to come out and just grind it out. Uh, you know, he, uh, he said he was going to execute me, and I, I told him, I'm looking forward to the execution. You know, I'm going to come and grind him out. I'm going to do that kind of things like that because, you know, you, you got to come and put up. Put up or shut up. And that's what I did. You know, I told him I was going to I was gonna give him a beating for 12 rounds, so that's what I went and did. Robert, it seems like your most difficult moments when your head was getting rocked back pretty violently probably were your strongest moments. Did you sense that he was deflated by the fact that he couldn't knock, knock you down with those blows? Uh... A bit, yeah. Um, you know, a lot of people get discouraged when they hit me with their best shots and they don't hurt me, and I keep coming. But also, too, you know, a lot of people underestimate how, how much punching power I got. Um, you know, I don't have these flashy, real flashy shots, but I do got some power. I got heavy hands, and when I hit these guys, they realize how hard I hit, like Berto did. Well, and what kind of thoughts sustained you through, through those tough moments? I mean, what were you thinking about in those final rounds that really Sending my kids to Stanford. Stanford. I come and I fight for my family. So, you know, it, it's it's one of those things where, you know, it's either send my kids to a junior college or send them to a big college. <laughs> so I'm going to come and do what I have to do to support my family, put food on the table, send them to the best schools, do stuff like that. Speaking of family, how is your wife? My wife's doing great. She's sitting back there right now. I know she was real nervous because Berto was in there. Robert, how do you see a fight between you and Mayweather unfolding? Um, you know, see me coming and fighting. You know, I ain't gonna run from him. I ain't gonna be one of those guys that throw one or two punches. I'm gonna come and throw. And uh, you know, as you guys saying, I ain't scared to exchange. I ain't scared to punch. I ain't scared to be in the mix. I ain't scared to. You know, box, I ain't scared to do anything. When I come to fight, I come to fight. So, uh, you know, styles make fights, and I I really feel I, Mayweather, I'll take him out. Yeah. Robert, uh, I'm surprised were you that he came out with the shoulder roll defense. I don't think we've ever seen that from him. Were you surprised he came out like that? Uh, a bit, yeah. That's how I cracked him on the chin. <laughs> you know, like I said, a lot of these guys underestimate me. You know, I started my pro career at 122 pounds. Hey, now I'm at 47. They think I'm a little guy that I can't punch. I'm not strong. But like I said, I got I don't got those flashy punches, but I got heavy hands. And when I hit you, it does damage. As you see, him, every, you know, every time I hit him, he was he was hanging on. Everybody, you know, people thought I was holding on in the clinches, but it was really him. How much stronger did you feel him? It feels like you were just moving him around how you wanted. Did you feel that much stronger than him in there? Um, no, Berto was strong in there. He was real strong. Um, but it was the punches. It was the punches that were that were moving him. Um, you know, I hit him with I hit him to the body, and uh, you know what happens is when I hit these guys, a lot of times they start freezing up and they just start going. With it. Start Rob moving. Robert, Super explain the last seconds of the of the fight and after the bell. Did you uh, did, were you aware that the bell had rang, or was it just instinct that you you know you felt you had to take him out? The last round. The last, the last round? round. Oh, no, I was going. I didn't even hear the bell. I was excited. I was, I was, you know, he was landing some big shots on me, and I was landing big shots on him. And I told him, I love this. I told him on the inside, I love this. Is that all you got? At some point, it looked like, you know, when you were inside, it looked like you, you smiled at the cameras. Did, did you do that, or was I 
Yeah, I was smiling. Oh. <laughs> I was smiling. I mean, like I said, I, I love to fight. This is what I do. You know, all the way, all the way to the end. I'm gonna fight. Robert, 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 you were fighting the Andre Berto that was coming in off a long layoff. You've seen him fight before. Did that see could have, been, could have been a difference if he had been more active in fighting you? No. No, not at all. I came off a long layoff too with A.D., who's a harder puncher than him, and who's a rough, more rough guy, a guy that's brutal in the ring, who just wants to beat you down and batter you around. Uh, with a torn shoulder. And I came off probably, you know, I came out, I came off of uh, uh, worse surgery than him and everything, so, you know, I was off a year and a half, too, and I came back and did my thing, and jumped two weight classes. No excuse. So, I mean, you know, him, him you know, him being at the weight class, 147 pounds, you know, he was doing his thing, training. Hey, he was ready to go. He was ready to go. He was determined. Just like I was when I was off that long. You get you get hungry. You know, Robert, I keep hearing you. Uh, I, I, I know you're ready for Floyd Mike. Get my and, and I really hope that you do get that fight. And I know a lot of fight fans hope you get that fight. But if that's the thing we keep hearing. Is there, let's say that fight doesn't happen. We hope it does. Let's say it doesn't happen. Is there, is there somebody else that's on that, that top, you know, beyond Berto? Because not, no disrespect to Berto, but it's almost like, like Berto just, he, he's lacking it now, man. And you're, you're beyond that. You're a world champion. You're ready to fight these big fighters. Uh, any other fighter names that you can that you can say that comes out of your mind, aside from Floyd Mike Mayweather? You know, I'll be watching the Pacquiao Marquez fight, but the main focus is, uh, is Mayweather. He's the best fighter, pound for pound. And that's where I want to be. So we're going to gun for him. If the, if the Mayweather fight don't pan out, how does it feel like fighting back in San Jose? Uh, you know what I'm saying? If you don't get back to, you know, I know, it's, like I said, the following the human love, the following the boxing love, and, you know, I, I think that would be a great fight. You know, if the Mayweather fight don't pan out. Um, you know, I would love to fight back home. The fans are great. Um, the fans are great here, too. I think wherever I go, the fans are great, because they just love a great fight. Boxing fans are amazing. And uh, if, you put, if you put out fights like the way I do, come to fight all the time, they love it. Brother, you said that you, you said that Mayweather is the best fighter in the world. Where would you put yourself on that list? What was that? You just said that Mayweather is the best in the world. Where would you put yourself on that list, on the pound pound list? Right there with him. So number one? That's why I want to fight him. So what, what do you think you are, number one? I think I should be right there, number two, right behind him, so I can fight him. <laughs> and then I can beat him. And I'll be a pound for pound king. <laughs>